What's up everybody? Another day, another property tour. So today I'm here on the northwest side of the Las Vegas Valley. I do apologize for all the noise. You got the uh, landscaper here. So today, we are gonna be touring this beautiful home by Pulte. This is a single story home here in the mass plan community of Reverence. Reverence is located in Summerlin, that's right. So let's take a look at this property today. So there's a lot of upgrades on this. This is actually a resale home. A lot of you guys love that modern home. I do love these uh, cactus trees here. Uh, we are doing our backyard and uh, I'm definitely getting this right here. All right, let's go inside because it's just way too noisy. Love the LED lights. You got the upgrade on the paver driveway and the frosted eight foot garage doors. They did the extension on the pavers all the way out to the back. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Let's go inside because this is way too noisy. We're gonna take a look at some of the upgrades here. So you got your keypad. Let me shut this thing here. There we go, that's a little bit better, right folks? That's what I was thinking. I'm gonna walk you straight back here real quick. So this property here was actually built in 2018. This is a single story. It is 2,183 square feet has two bedrooms and a den. It was an option to do three and a total of three baths. So we're gonna start from the beginning here. A lot of upgrades to this home. So let's take a look at this in detail. So as you come in, you do have this tray ceiling with the surround sounds. You have your built-in valet. Also, if you notice the flooring here, you have this wood-like flooring. Now this is a luxury vinyl. This is a upgrade on this vinyl here. A lot of people, when they listen or hear vinyl, they think like, ah, vinyl is not good. The way that they engineer the vinyl now, it's great. Six panel door. You have eight foot doors, 10 foot ceilings. Then you have your shutters. Now these are not wood shutters, okay? These are plastic shutters. So this is gonna be your junior suite here. Two-tone paint, three inches around the uh, casing here, okay? You do have a ceiling fan. Let's take a look at the bathroom. So as you can see, we have a floating vanity, 36 inches high on the cabinets. The cabinets itself, these are mid-century cabinets with full dovetails, soft closing. Lovely countertops, four inches on the backsplash here. During the time of the spec, you had the option to do a tub shower combo, like the way it sits, to tile this up as well. Or you can do a zero threshold and you can have a nice walk-in shower. Let's take a look at here. So by looking at this, this tells me a few things, okay? The water runs down this track probably ends up draining out of here somewhere. That's the reason why you have this. The inspector will definitely catch this right here, okay? Now, when you see a little gap like this, right? What this is prevented, what this, the reason why this is actually here, so that way, if the water goes behind the tile, it should just run down through this weep hole and it should just drain out of here, okay? And on this side, you have the same thing. However, that looks like it's clogged. And the reason why that is clogged looks like because they grouted that and you're not supposed to grout that. Here's your walk-in closet. Pretty decent size on the walk-in closet here. I'm gonna say this one's five by eight feet long, okay?
Got your water closet here. Now this room is 14 by 16, so it's a pretty decent sized room here. Now also I wanna share with you real quickly, we have a transfer grill, okay, on this. Looks like you have a smoke detector. Smoke detectors, it's uh, recommended that you change it every 10 years. How do you know what year is the smoke detector? You could just pull it off and it will show you the year it was built. So down this hallway we have a half bath. Floating vanity to match. Got one can lighting. You got some extra shelves, really nice. Two tone paint here. Here's some closet space. Let's take a look at this closet space. Also, here's your AV room. Let's take a look. Okay. So, on this AV room, there's not a box, it's just a bunch of wires. Interesting. Now, this option right here, you had an option to make this a room. Now, one thing I would have done was have uh, French doors versus having this open. Yes, it would enclose it a little bit more, but then now you could utilize it as an office, like the way it is, all right? Then also you have your Murphy bed. Let's take a look at this. There you go. Let me know in the comments below. Would you have rather done it like this or frame it out with the French door so you're gonna lose about three feet on each side but you still have a six foot span, right? So now you can utilize this as actually a bedroom. And the value is gonna go a lot further on a three versus two and a den. Not bad. Love the uh, built-in cabinets here for sure. Also, you got the surround sound. And you got that nice light fixture there. I actually just bought that for our rehab property. These things are about 90 bucks. Look how gorgeous this kitchen is. Now, you had a couple options here. This is a nine foot island by four feet with a two inch face with a nice waterfall. This is actually a quartz, okay? So that was a upgrade at that time, okay? Really nice. You have a beautiful toe kick here. However, they cut this toe kick down the center, which I would have had them run this whole toe kick all the way through versus having this cut right here down the middle. And that's just my pet peeve. But look at the flooring on here. This is a gorgeous flooring. Again, we have mid-century cabinets. Okay, dovetails, soft closing. You have a 24 inch depth on the cabinet. Beautiful, beautiful subway tile, 36 inch on the cook countertop. These are actually kitchen aids. As you can see, you have the beautiful LED lights underneath. I definitely would have added on the top here too as well. And we do have a reverse tray with the LED. Great spec, look how beautiful that is. That light just illuminates, really nice. You can tell the um, drywall right here is not as clean, right? Because if you look at the LED lights, it gets a little bit wavy there. But I mean, that's not a big deal. Now let's take a look at this. You have your refrigerator. Now, 
The refrigerator, okay, is gonna stick out a little bit. Reason why is it's gonna be very hard to find a refrigerator that flushes with your cabinets. You would have to go with a smaller refrigerator. It's gonna stick out a little bit more, probably about two inches here. It's called counter depth. Here's your laundry room. Man, I love these floors. These are some gorgeous floors. So it looks like this is an aftermarket. It looked like it was pre-plumbed. They came in here with the Lowe's on Home Depot, added their own plumbing. Not the plumbing, but the sink. It's your smart panel box. Wow, that's interesting. You have a smart panel box here, but then all your coax are over there. Got your pantry, love the pantry. Orange peel texture, by the way. Now, this is what I love about the frosted glass. Look how much light just comes in here. This right here is about like $12,000. Ooh, look at this. He got an upgrade system. And look at this. Standard temperature was set out to 120. That's where it's regula uh, regulated at 120. This tells me that they probably put a chip in here, right? To reconfigure it to 140. Okay. Also a couple upgrades that they have here. Aftermarket part. This is dope. This is actually the uh, filter. Okay. From the filter, you have the hot water. Check this out. They also added a timer on here. So as you can see, the timer was set from 8 to 5 p.m. or 8 a.m. You also have a water filtration system. Look at this. This is a pretty dope hookup right here, dude. That's like the Ferraris of all Ferraris. Now this is just a filtration system. This is not a soft water. The filtration system really filters out all the chemicals, chlorine, all that, so that way you can actually drink it. Now the soft water gives you a nice feel. It's not dry, right, to your skin. Looks like they had some cabinets. They ripped that out. This is nice. Now, we do have a upgrade here, a nine foot slide. And this is not a pocket door, right? This nine foot slides open, then you have this six foot that uh, slides open. I'm sorry, nine and 12, my bad. Now take a look at these. These are electronic shades, and I believe these shades, right, the way it looks is from um, Hunter Douglas, okay? And you don't need to run power to this. They are also battery operated too as well. Now this is really nice. I can't find a remote and this is not justifying what this thing really looks like out here in the back because once you open this up, you're gonna bring in a lot of light. You're really bringing the outdoor in, right? Which is really nice. Also take a look at this. We also have another reverse tray ceiling, a one inch in the main living, okay? Also, they have this beautiful, nice stonework, which I actually got the same stonework, believe it or not, and I'm doing the same thing, okay? On the flip property, so I can't wait. Look at this stone. This is gorgeous. Now, with this fireplace, it's, this is a gas fireplace. I'm not too sure what the BTUs are, but you can also change the color, all right? Let me know what color you like. I think I like the blue. You also have speakers above here too as well. I mean, this is a one, two, three, five, seven point oh surround sounds. And it looks like these are, oh, I can't see that far. Can't tell you. So here's your cafe section. This is a very decent size on the cafe. I'm gonna have a link in the description below. You have the eight inch straight edge baseboards, okay? Now let's go take a look at the primary. 
The primary has carpet, decent size. You have a eight foot slide here. Your TV is gonna go here and take a look at this. They weren't messing around with this tray ceiling and also the surround sound here. The only thing that they're missing is a four can lighting. Look, man, I'm telling you, for me, lighting is such a big key. I always stress this as much as I can. Inside the primary, as you notice, you have the transfer duct, which is a plus. Let's take a look at the bathroom here. You got 12 by 12, I'm sorry, 12 by 24 on the tile, straight edge. You have the 3 16 stagger on this, okay? Grout lines have not been sealed. The shower, you have a nice zero threshold as we come in. Now when it comes to showers, okay, the tile, you can do this semi-gloss, oh, I'm sorry, the gloss or the flat. Typically the gloss was really made for the shower. Oh, I love the shrouds, look at this. A lot of builders are starting to use this and it has such a clean look. I believe they're called shrouds. I always forget the name of this. I mean, look how clean that is. Just make sure when you do your tile, you get that, because that's just such a clean look. All right, let's take a look at the walk-in closet here. This is all stock and standard carpet. They added an electrical outlet there. Let's take a look at the cabinet space, so this would be hers. A lot of builders pretty much just use Moen products just due to the fact that it's such a big company, it's more of a universal uh, type of fixtures, faucets. We're gonna go out this way here. Uh, you know what, let's go out, should I go out this way? Probably a little bit easier. Oh, I wish I could really show this and really justify it. This is a nice slide, very smooth, okay? Look at the view on this. It's gorgeous, huh? So we have a view fencing, then you have a green belt, then you have your neighbors facing you, okay? But I mean, overall, I mean, take a look at this. Look how gorgeous that is. Mountain views. Definitely did an upgrade here. Okay, that's cool. Cover patio. Again, they have the surround sound. This is definitely like the party house. You got one condenser here. Okay. That definitely looks like a Lennox. I'm not going to go over there. They paved all this. So this is all aftermarket. You also have this covered patio here. This is an aftermarket. When I say aftermarket, I, I'm talking about they close on their home and it's gorgeous. I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are. Do you think this property is worth 1.1 million? Also, if you guys want more information about this property, I'll have the full description in the link below. Oh man, I wish I would really get this thing open for you guys. All right, give me a second while I shut this door here. Okay. Let me get the iPad. For All right, so sorry about that guys. The battery just died. I only have a couple more bars, but really quick, the mass plan community for the HOA is $48 a month. For the HOA itself, it's $210 dollars a month. Like I said, I'm going to have a link in the description below so that way feel free to uh, click on that link. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck It's Crusoe with Simply Vegas and have a blessed day.